Greetings, fans, and welcome to tonight's Broncos Broadcast Network Boys Soccer Contest between the 1-7 Davenport Broncos and the 2-6 All Saints Academy Saints. I'm John Chigaris, and thank you for joining us wherever you may be on this Tuesday night. This is the first game of the 2022 calendar for both clubs. The Broncos are in the middle of a four-game losing streak, losing most recently to Aubendale by a score of 8-0. Broncos have been outscored 16-3 during that stretch. The Saints, on the other hand, are on a three-game losing streak of their own after being shut out by Lakeland Christian Ridge Community, or Lakeland Christian Ridge Community, and Lake Wales, respectively. The Saints have not scored a goal since their 8-0 win against Orlando Christian Prep on November 30th. Against common opponents. The Broncos and Saints are combined 0-7, with the Broncos and Saints being outscored 45-1, with the Broncos scoring the only goal in that set. The Broncos will be led tonight by leading scorer Nicholas De Silva, who has three goals on the season, which is good for 57% of all Broncos goals. The Broncos this season currently are tied for fifth place in the seventh division of the FHSAA 4A division. Mulberry currently leads at 2-0. Horizon is in second at 1-0. McKeel Academy and Tenorock have yet to play a divisional opponent. And Leak Region, Davenport, and Lake Buena Vista are tied for fifth at 0-1. On the 2A side of the seventh division of the FHSAA, All Saints are actually in first place with their 1-0 record. All other teams in that division, Foundation Christian Academy, Santa Fe Catholic, Sefner Christian, and Universal Academy are at 0-0 in the division. The Broncos will be led by Coach Dolan. The Saints will be led by Coach Boardman. We have the kickoff when we return here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. As the officials take the field, we are moments away from the opening kickoff. 67 degrees here in Davenport. Your upcoming schedule for games here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. Join us tomorrow night here at 6 o'clock right back here on the soccer pitch as the Varsity Girls soccer team will face Horizon. On Thursday and Friday, we have girls basketball for you. Thursday against Auburndale, JV at 6, the varsity at 7.30. And on Friday, the girls varsity will take on Lake Wales in basketball action. JV at 6.30, the varsity scheduled to begin at 8 o'clock. So both of these teams are going to be looking to get on the board early in this game. As we've talked to the Broncos in the opening, the Broncos being 1-7, the Saints being 2-6. Broncos during the last few games have been outscored 16-3, while the Saints have not scored a goal since November 30th. So both teams looking to get on the board early tonight. Slight breeze coming in from the right-hand side of the field. That's the side that the Saints are currently sitting on. Saints are the first, first team to take the field. Broncos still huddled up over by their bench. Also, if you're just joining us, as we talked in the opening, the Broncos are definitely going to have to look behind their veteran leadership. Take a look at their junior in Nick De Silva, leading the team in goals. Nick actually has 57% of the Broncos' goals on the entire season. Fish was heading over toward the Broncos' bench to figure out if they are coming on out. as the officials make their way toward midfield for tonight's contest. Saints will be defending the ball of the goal toward the right. The Broncos will be defending the goal toward the left when we get going. 
Broncos have broken their hot one layer on their way to the field. Again, first of four broadcast on the Broncos Broadcasting Network this week. We'll try to get any updates as we can as the girls basketball team are taking on the Ridge Bolts tonight over in Ridge. Any updates that we are able to get, we will certainly pass on to you. So the Broncos look to start the ball off with the kickoff at midfield. Whistle is off and we are underway. So Broncos trying to take it down that near sideline as they are passing it back, going from a defensive set, trying to work their way up the near sideline. That ball goes out. It's going to be Davenport's ball. So Davenport will be throwing the ball in on the near sideline in their own territory. Ball gone out. The Saints will get it back. 39-30 to go here in the opening half. Saints with an excellent throw-in header by the Broncos. Again, here on the near sideline, fancy footwork goes out again. It's going to stay Saints ball. Quick throwing by the Saints, intercepted by the Broncos. The Broncos still have yet to clear the ball past half field. Ball is taken out of bounds. Broncos will have it on the far sideline as they throw the ball in. First opportunity to get the ball over half field. Fancy footwork on the far sideline. Broncos finally crossing half field. Broncos being more conservative tonight than we've seen in recent, in recent games. And just like that, a miscue almost led to a Broncos goal as the Saints goalie came out trying to make a save. But to no avail, Broncos were all over that as Vega almost had an easy goal. 37.50 to go here in the opening half, scoreless from Davenport High. Broncos again will take the throw in from the far sideline. Kick is up and it is defended and up over the goal post. 37-19 to go here in the first half. Broncos are now trying to take advantage on the corner kick. Corner kick is up and it is denied by the Saints. Broncos trying to pressure down that far sideline, trying to cross on in. Quick centering pass for the Broncos, and that one is going to get kicked, and it's going to go out. It's going to stay Broncos ball, 36-35 here to go in the opening half. So Broncos will have a throwing from the corner. Here we are on the near sideline. Shot is going to be caught and saved by the Saints. So Broncos have had a few early opportunities and have yet to be able to capitalize. That's one thing both of these teams are going to have to do as we talked about how they have been stricken by a lot of games where they have not been able to score. 
So the more opportunities they are going to get today, the better chance they will have to put points on the scoreboard. Rock is now making their way down the far side, making their way now toward the center of the field. Taken away by the Saints, and the Saints have numbers. And the Broncos able to take it back away. Saints now going down the far sideline. Centering passes up, and that's going to go long. Just saved from going out of bounds. Saints definitely not giving up on that ball. And that's one thing you will normally see when you have these teams that have been struggling, when you have a centering pass that doesn't go like we've seen there. Just maybe the mental thought, hey, I'm going to give up on this play, but the Saints definitely not giving up. Making sure their hustle and everything is there every step of the way. So the Saints are going to have a corner kick on the near sideline. Kick is up, and that is going to go long. Another shot is up. And that one is going to go out. So the Broncos surviving the second attack that the Saints have come down tonight. Both teams have now had two scoring opportunities on their respective ends. Broncos now charging right down the middle of the field. Pass down the left sideline. Taken away by the Saints. Saints with a booming kick, unfortunately going out of bounds on that far sideline. 33-48 to go in the opening half. Broncos will throw the ball in. Ball is thrown in on the far sideline. Broncos surrounded by white Saints jerseys. And we're going to have our first whistle. So the Broncos will kick it in from the far sideline. Saints putting up their wall. Ball gets kicked in and taken away by the Saints keeper. Scoreless here from Davenport. Booming kick doesn't cross midfield before it's hit by the Broncos. Saints will take possession out of bounds just at about midfield. Ball is passed in Broncos playing defense back. Kick down the near corner, taken away. Saints regain possession. Driving toward the net. Centering pass is going to be stopped. Another incredible stop by the Broncos. 32 minutes to go here in the opening half. Dangerous throw right there. Right pass, three Saints. And the Saints come back with it. But quickly taken away by the Broncos. One thing, the Broncos are going to have to settle down in this contest. Broncos taking it down the near sideline. That's De Silva, the leading scorer for the Broncos. Centering pass is going to be intercepted and taken away by the Saints keep. Talked about De Silva in the opening. Team leading three goals on the season. Another booming kick taken to midfield as the Saints go on the offensive attack. And Broncos will be whistled on that play. 31-07 to go in the opening half. Still scoreless from Davenport High. For tonight's contest between the Davenport Broncos 
in the All Saints Academy Saints. Polk action with the Broncos being here in Polk and the All Saints also being here in Polk County. Broncos with another save. Opting to kick it out this time toward the near sideline and that is gonna fly out of bounds. So the Saints are gonna regain possession. Throwing his toward the near corner. It's going to go off the Saints and out of bounds. Broncos will regain possession. 30 minutes and change here to go in the opening half. So while the Broncos take it in, the Saints are still playing a heavy defense on this side of the field. Going to make the Broncos earn this opportunity to go the length of the field. Booming kick down, taken away by the Saints. Broncos trying to come away with it, but the Saints are swarming. Broncos are going to take the advantage on the far sideline, only get again swarmed by Saints players. Seems like every time the Broncos have any semblance of a breakaway, they are just surrounded. And a booming clear for the Broncos goes out. It'll be Broncos ball. Broncos to throw it in on the near sideline. Just under 29 to go in the opening half. A defensive throw in as the Saints have started to come back toward their own side and now making the way even closer toward the Broncos net. Broncos passing it around on the far sideline, now toward the centering. Saints are now applying some pressure here. As the Broncos are trying to dribble through this press. Broncos able to sky it. But the Saints trying to come down with it on that far sideline, and the Saints do as that ball goes out of bounds. It will become Broncos ball, 28-15 to go here in the opening half. We are scoreless from Davenport High. Broncos with the throwing. Broncos do have three defenders playing back toward midfield. The Saints do have one offensive player there as well. Centering pass is going to be taken away by the Saints keep. Another booming kick that passes midfield taken away by the Broncos. Ball going out of bounds on the site. Broncos will resume possession. Trying to get it down to De Silva down that near sideline, but it goes out of bounds on De Silva. It's going to be Saints ball. Saints will throw it in on the near sideline. Quick exchange from headers and the Broncos try to regain possession on the near sideline as it goes out and it's gonna become Broncos ball. So Broncos will get possession back. So we continue to be scoreless in this defensive battle. And now both goalies have been exceptional. Both defenses have been incredible in this game. Broncos getting the ball down the far sideline. Kicking it toward midfield. 
And again, this is the defense the Saints are playing. The second the Broncos get a ball, there are two Saints all over them. Almost similar to like a basketball box in one. As that ball goes out of bounds. But there is never a second that a Bronco with the ball is not surrounded by white jerseys. The Saints being in white, the Broncos being in the black. 25-20 to go here in the opening half. We are scoreless. Saints will be kicking it in from the far side of the field. Booming kick, and the Saints will have possession as they make their way into Bronco territory. Centering pass is going to go wide down the near sideline, but recovered by the Saints as they try to look for another attack. Another centering. That one's going to be a header that is going to go up and over the net. So Broncos survive a scoring opportunity from the Saints. So Broncos take their time bringing that ball up. Playing around on that far sideline. Now coming to the near sideline, trying to take away by the Saints, and the Saints have taken away possession. Back and forth defensive effort here in Davenport. Broncos have taken the ball down toward the near sideline. Saints are going to try to come up with it, and they do. They kick it back to their keeper with 23 30 and change to go in the opening half. Broncos trying to take possession as the ball goes to midfield. Saints are able to come away with the dribble. Saints with the centering pass. It's a two on one. The kick is up, and that one is also going to go over the net through the uprights. This would be. American soccer, not American football. So the three points do not go on. 23 minutes to go here in the opening half. Scoreless between the Davenport Broncos and the All Saints Academy Saints. Broncos trying to apply some pressure down that far sideline as the cross field pass went out. Saints at midfield trying to save that ball from going out on the far sideline. And they do not, and Broncos will regain possession. <laughs> Broncos trying to mirror what they have seen the Saints do each and every time the Saints have had that turnover. They go down and get that quick opportunity on goal. As you see right now, the Saints take advantage of that turnover, driving right on the goal. Broncos taking that ball away.
Saints will take the ball in on the near sideline. 21-19 to go. As we near closer and closer to that 20-minute water break. Ball is thrown in. Saints with another opportunity coming down that near sideline. Centering pass is going to go wide. For the third time within the last few minutes, the Saints having that opportunity to get that centering pass, just missing their man. Broncos with the ball on the far sideline. Down into Saints territory. Scoreless from Davenport. Saints looking to try to take advantage. Broncos with a booming kick down. That's going to go toward the near sideline if it stays in. And it does. Incredible save there by Sanchez. Sanchez does get the ball taken away, but Broncos take it back. Sending pass to De Silver just goes over his head. And that's going to go out of bounds. Nineteen fifty three to go here in the opening half. Booming kick goes out toward midfield. The Saints will take it from the far sideline. Broncos now coming out and applying some pressure. This ball gets kicked back to the Saints goalie. Again, Broncos now applying the type of pressure we have seen the Saints applying all night. It's the ball skies down the far sideline. Saints do have an opening, but the Broncos able to deflect the ball away. Incredible defense by the Broncos. And the clock stops at 18.47 for the 20-minute water break. 18.47 to go. Here in the first half, we are scoreless, but both teams certainly have had many opportunities to put points on the scoreboard. We talked in the opening how they've really been nipped in the bud with these teams not being able to score very last few games. So you can expect this game is not going to be a high scoring affair. Opportunities have been there, but it has been amazing defense by both goalkeepers on both sides. On the same side, there have been a few centering passes that have just gone high and awry. On the Broncos end, any time they have anyone with the ball, they are instantly swarmed with three to four Saints players. Not giving them any room at all to dribble the ball down. Well, good. We'll take a quick break here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. We will be right back. As we make our way out of the 20-minute water break timeout, 18.47 to go here in the first half. Between tonight's contest between the Davenport Broncos and the All Saints Academy Saints. 
We are scoreless from Davenport High on an absolutely perfect night on this Tuesday night. A little nippy, there is a little chill in the air, but that is what you expect come January in Florida as we are here for our two weeks of winter. It always seems to be just about this time during that Disney, this is the weekend for the Disney Marathon weekend. It seems like this weekend is always brutally cold. And then by the next weekend, hey, it's 90s and everything is hunky-dory when it comes to Florida weather. Broncos and Saints exchanging from the far sideline. Broncos trying to get it away. And now the Broncos are taking a page out of the Saints book. Saints have the ball, and there are four players around. Centering pass, shot, and score by the Saints. As the Saints have now scored their first point since November 30th in that game in which they beat Orlando Christian Prep. So first goal of the game has gone on the board. The Saints have definitely had a number of opportunities tonight with centering passes that have just gone awry. That one able to connect. Broncos will take the kickoff. So Broncos now need to try to drive down this field, try to put some pressure on the Saints defense. Saints defense has been working overtime all over this field. And Saints again with this incredible pressure. Broncos are now able to take it. It is a three-on-three -three opportunity. Nick DeSilver trying to take it. Quick pass down the near sideline. Medlar has it back to DeSilva. DeSilva trying to dribble through. Taken away by the Saints for the error pass by DeSilva. Sixteen thirty to go here in the opening half. Saints now taking it down the far sideline as that ball will go out of bounds but will remain Saints' possession. Saints with the throw in from the far sideline. Good throw toward the far corner. Saints drawing three Broncos defenders, which is going to leave an open man for the Saints if the Broncos begin to triple team. Entering pass, and that's going to be called offsides on the Saints. So Broncos will get possession back. And again, Saints just swarming all over the Broncos. Not giving them any chance to breathe or develop any sort of offense. And Broncos regrouping, trying to get their offense set as we cross the 15-minute mark to go here in the opening half. Quick shot will go to the right of the goal. Easy stop by the Saints keep. Ball kicked in. Broncos tried to take it on the far sideline, but Saints regained possession. Saints trying to drive, but they do not have the numbers, and the Broncos quickly deflect it away. Broncos trying to make something happen again down that far sideline. Whistle on the play.
Broncos kick it in from the far sideline and another great stop by the Saints. Broncos have been keeping the Saints goalie busy all night tonight. Saints trying to come down. They don't have numbers, but they're still working havoc, dribbling right through the Broncos. That ball is going to fly out of bounds down the near sideline. Saints taking their time, bringing this ball back in, starting to get their offense working. Throw in from the near sideline. Centering pass is going to be deflected away by the Broncos, but the Saints able to keep it alive, and that one is going to go out of bounds on the Broncos end line. 12.45 to go here in the opening half. The Saints of All Saints Academy 1, Davenport Broncos 0. John Chigaris here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. Thank you for joining us wherever you may be today. Broncos looking to get an attack, but the Saints going ahead and taking that opportunity away. Saints with the pass toward the center of the field. That one is going to fly out of bounds off of the far sideline. Broncos will regain possession. 12 minutes and change to go here in the opening half. Broncos wasting no time getting that ball in. Saints were not able to set. And the Saints are able to take it away. Again, a Bronco has the ball. There are two to three Saints all over and making sure that he is not able to advance that ball any further. Picture perfect double and triple teaming. Saints will throw the ball in from the far sideline. Saints trying with a centering pass and a great save by the Broncos. Trying to nip that scoring threat in the bud. Down the near sideline, it's going to go out. It will be Saints ball. Saints make substitutions. Throwing is coming here on the near sideline. Quick back and forth. Saints coming away with possession. Center passes. The Broncos come back with it. Broncos starting to apply some pressure, but the Saints instantly snuff it out. Broncos just have not been giving room to move. It's each and every time they try to advance that ball, they are not able to. Saints will be throwing in from the near sideline. Or rather, we'll be kicking the ball in. Boom, and kick is up toward the near sideline. Broncos trying to take advantage of the juggle. Again, back and forth, incredible defense being played by both teams in this 1-0 game. Broncos with the opportunity from the far sideline, centering pass, but nothing but Saints jerseys in the pathway of that ball. Oh. Oh. 
Sky kick toward midfield as the Saints continue to try to advance. Broncos with the ball now down that far sideline. Kick down Broncos with one of their best opportunities of the night. Shot and score. And just like that, it is one to one. Broncos with an incredible goal. Scored by Angel Sanchez. So 8.34 to go. The Broncos have tied it up at a goal apiece. Broncos finally able to penetrate that defense from the Saints. Saints with a quick pass, and that's going to go toward the near corner. And that one will go out of bounds. Looked for a second like the Saints were going to be able to save it. Broncos will kick the ball back toward their own goal as the Saints begin to retreat. Talked about the silver during the opening, but Sanchez also being one of those leaders on the team, both of which being juniors. One thing we have talked about on so many broadcasts when it comes to the Broncos, with Davenport High School being a brand new school, there are no seniors whatsoever on this Davenport High School boys soccer team. So you don't have that established ship that you do have from those veteran leaderships. You have these other teams that have played that have been able to play to eat with each other year after year after year. All of these guys coming from different schools. We have been able through the last few games, we have seen them gel a little bit more as a team, more so than we did at the beginning of the year. Broncos with a booming kick down that far sideline as the battle for possession comes away with the Saints. Saints again launching another attack on the Broncos, and that one is going to go out toward the right of the goal. So the Saints flying with new life, trying to get something going as the half begins to wind toward a close. Saints setting the ball for the corner kick down on the far side. Corner kick is up. It's a header that is going to go up and out of bounds. As we seem to have some clock issues here in Davenport with the clock frozen at 8.34. Broncos looking to throw it in from the near sideline. And I understand trying to get it downfield, but if you're the Broncos, you're throwing it in a direction where you have five different Saints players. Saints once again driving down the field.
St. Centering shot is going to be up and through the uprights, and that's not going to go. And clock has resumed motion. Saints will set up from a corner kick on that far sideline. We are under eight to play, tied up at one here in Davenport. Corner kick is up, and it's going to be taken away by the Broncos, but Saints quickly able to take it, and Broncos trying to prevail. But just as quickly as the Broncos have it, the Saints taking the ball right back. That ball is going to go out on the far sideline toward the far end of the field. 7.20 to go here in the opening half. And again, this Saints attack is amazing. Anytime any Bronco has it, just being swarmed by Saints. So if you're the Broncos, start trying to pass the ball around. See if you can get the Saints to become winded. That ball is going to go awry. Taken away by the Saints keeper. 6.30 to go here in the opening half. Tied up at one. Struggling for possession down that far sideline. Again, going out of bounds. Ball is now thrown in. Saints coming away with that possession and going on that offensive press. Quick kick ahead is going to be taken away by the Broncos. Keep again. The Saints applying that pressure as the Broncos take that ball up. Using that sideline to their advantage. Almost using that sideline as an additional defender. Saints now being more conservative as the Broncos now come up with it toward midfield. Broncos trying to establish possession as it goes toward the Saints. And goes out of bounds down that far sideline. 4.50 to go here in the opening half. Quick throwing, and again, the Saints coming down with that pressure as the ball goes out. The Saints wasting no time getting toward that net. Ball is placed for the corner kick on the far sideline. Corner kick is up. Ball is loose in front of the net, and we have a whistle. Broncos back with possession.
and the officials are going to call for halftime. Well, it's going to be a timeout on the field, rather, 347. We will step away. We will be re we'll be right back here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. As we get ready to begin in the second half, we are tied one to one in tonight's contest between the Davenport Broncos and the All Saints Academy Saints. The Saints did go up one nothing, and the Broncos were able to answer with a goal by Angel Sanchez. That is where we currently sit, tied one to one, as we look to begin the second half. Forty minutes to go here in this ball game. This is our first of four broadcasts on the Broncos Broadcasting Network this week. Boys soccer tonight. Tomorrow, girls soccer against Horizon. Kickoff will be at 6 o'clock. On Thursday, girls basketball against Auburndale. JV at 6 o'clock. Varsity at 7.30. On Friday, girls basketball against Lake Wales. Tip-off for JV is 6.30. Varsity scheduled to tip off at 8 o'clock. All of those games can be found here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. Saints will take the ball, and Saints will now be driving toward the goal on the right. Broncos will now be driving toward the goal on the left. The Broncos come out with a newfound fire here, and that pass is going to be... Intercepted, and Broncos are going to try to get the ball right on back. But again, just like we saw countless times in that first half, Saints just swarming over who has the ball for the Broncos. And just like that, the Broncos do have a breakaway, but it's going to be called offsides. As Medalia was trying to get possession of that ball, but just called offsides. 39 and change here to go in the game. The Saints get ready to kick it in. We kicked right down in the middle of the field. Broncos trying to get possession back on their end. Scramble for the ball. De Silva able to take it away for the Broncos. De Silva being the leading scorer for the Broncos. Excellent footwork, but taken away by the Saints. We've seen De Silva's like many times this year, not only here on the soccer field, but being the kicker for the football team. Fight for, for possession down on the near corner on the right-hand side. Saints still with the ball. Centering pass, Broncos getting possession, trying to clear it as we have a whistle on the field. 37-45 to go here in the first half. Okay. 
as Broncos begin to drive down on that far sideline. And a whistle on the play, 37.04 to go here in the second half. Saints will kick the ball just shy of midfield. Whistle for play to resume, and the ball is kicked in. Broncos striving to get possession, but again, a swarm of Saints taking it away. The Saints defense has been incredible all night. Broncos now trying to take it down on that near sideline as that ball goes out of bounds. Saints will throw the ball in. And the near sideline, and it goes out toward the corner, and that's going to be Broncos' ball. As the Saints tried to throw the ball in. But the side judge just let him know, no, no, that's, that's going to be Broncos' ball coming in. Only to change course and give it back to the Saints. And that ball goes out on the far sideline. So lots of confusion coming on that near sideline as to who should be throwing that ball in. 35 minutes to go here in the second half. As the set as the Saints set up for a corner kick on the near sideline. Corner kick is up. It's a header that's going to go up and over the goal. So Bronco is able to snuff out yet another scoring chance from the Saints. As we cross into the 8 o'clock hour, 8.06 here on the East Coast. Chilling the air in Davenport. Temperature on the field, 62 degrees currently. With the wind still coming in from the left-hand side of the field toward the right as we see the flags blowing in the corners. Speaking of flag in the corner, ball going toward the corner on the near sideline down to the right-hand side of the field and will go out of bounds. Broncos get the ball to their goalie, and who will kick it toward the near sideline. Again, here comes the Saints' pressure as the Broncos try to get it upfield, and that ball is going to go awry down the near sideline and will go out of bounds. So another Broncos possession goes awry, and the Saints taking advantage. Broncos are trying to answer back as they do get the ball back here on the near sideline. 33 minutes to go here in the second half. Saints and Broncos all tied up at one. Zuriga passes it in for the Broncos. And again, the Saints fighting for the ball, regain possession. Ball toward the center of the field now. Broncos able to make the good stop. So Broncos defense have been very busy tonight. Ball.
Ball is in Broncos trying to clear that ball. And again, going out of bounds on that far sideline. 31.50 to go here in the second half. We are tied at one here at Davenport High School. Saints throw the ball and on the far sideline. Looking to get something going as the Broncos do snuff it out down that far sideline. Broncos looking too clear. And the Broncos work in that sideline like the Saints have all game, using it as that extra defender. Saints do get the ball, and that's going to go out of bounds toward the left of the goal. 30-48 to go here in the second half. We are tied at one. Ball did go off of the Broncos, so the Saints setting up for a corner kick on the far sideline. Corner kick is up, and it is denied. Second chance opportunity is up, and that is going to go off of the uprights. And again... Wrong type of football there as we go over the 30-minute mark. Another corner kick is up. That one is going to go toward the side of the net. So Broncos will get possession back. And again, Broncos kick it into a spot where there were five Saints. Might not have been the best look there. Quick centering, and we have a whistle on the play. And we have players down on the field, 29-12 to go here in the second half. Both players seem to be okay as they are helped up to their feet. Referees will be discussing the placement of the ball and possession. as the discussions continue now toward the sideline. Ball is finally placed on the ground, 29-12, and the Broncos will take the ball 
driving down the field. Again, Broncos going toward the goal on the left-hand side. Broncos quickly adjusting down that far side. But again, Saints coming away with it. Saints trying to take numbers, but the Broncos storm ahead. Broncos centering pass is taken away by the Saints, quickly regaining possession for the Broncos. De Silva passes it down that far sideline. And again, that Saints attack as fierce as it has been all night. Quick shot is up, and that one is going to go toward the left of the net. Vega putting that shot on net. 28-10 to go here in the second half. We are tied 1-1. One to one. Your scoring summary on this game in the first half. The Saints did go up one to nothing. And then the Broncos coming back with a goal by Sanchez, tying it up at one. And that is where we currently sit, still tied up at one. And again, great defensive effort by both teams. Saints trying to come down, but denied again by the Broncos. Trying to get that ball to the Silva. So for the Broncos, leading scorer. Pass was intended for him as the Saints take it away down the near sideline. Ball tried to be saved out of bounds, but to no avail. Will be Broncos ball. 27-03 to go here in the game. Tied up at one. Broncos throwing the ball again. Instant double team for the Saints to take it right back away. Long pass will go out of bounds down the near sideline. Broncos will regain possession. So again, the Saints have done such an amazing job tonight with the double and triple teams, giving the Broncos no opportunity to advance. Broncos to throw it in on the near sideline. Quick passing across the field now toward the far sideline as the Saints try to take advantage, and they do. Saints with the ball back, driving back toward the net. Centering pass is there, and it's going to be in for a goal on that left-hand side. Saints now up by a score of 2-1. to one. And the old adage is, great defense leads to great offense, and the Saints have done just that, giving the Broncos no opportunity to get those passes and advance that ball upfield. So 26 minutes to go here in the game. Saints now up 2-1. to one. This was just about that time in the first half when the Saints scored that first goal of the ball game. So this is the first time that the Saints have scored more than one goal since their 8-0 win against Orlando Christian Prep way back on November 30th. Broncos now trying to drive back in on that near sideline, trying to regain possession is De Silva. De Silva with that fancy footwork. Quick pass is skied, and that is going to go out. 25-30 to go here in the game. Saints booming kick toward midfield. Trying to take advantage, has the opening on the near sideline. That ball is going to get kicked out of bounds. Looks like it was Russ Brown. For the Broncos, trying to get rid of that scoring threat. 
Great defensive effort by the Broncos there. Taking away that breakaway attempt. And it's going to lead to a corner kick on the near sideline for the Saints. Corner kick is up and denied by the Broncos. Broncos forming a very strong wall there. But the Saints are able to recover the ball on that near sideline, just barely preventing that ball from going out. Saints again taking it to the center of the field, getting it over all of the Broncos defenders. Broncos keeper will go ahead and will take it. Coming out toward his right, our left, toward the rear, toward the far sideline. And a dangerous pass for the Broncos, kicking it back to their goalie, as there were three Saints players right there. Saints now driving down that far sideline. 23 and change to go here in the first half. Shot and score by the Saints. And just like that, it is three to one with 23-18 to go. And he knew these shots would start to go in for both teams as you have the Saints who kept peppering, peppering, and peppering. The more shots you get on goal, eventually they will start to get in. So if you're the Broncos, you're now down two. It's 23-18. If you're the Broncos, find a way to get through the next few minutes until that 20-minute water break. And during that time, definitely think about all of the adjustments you will have to make for the second half of the second half. This ball goes out on the far sideline. Saints will take the ball back. Throwing toward midfield down the far sideline again. That one goes out yet again. Saints with the throwing on the far sideline. Looked to have an opening, but the Broncos tried to take it away. Penetrating and working their way in again. As the throwing comes. Taken away by the Broncos as they try to make their way up that far sideline. Broncos looking for the attack, but again, look up and see nothing but Saints. Another opportunity, again, taken away by the Saints. Just totally different look defense as when the Saints have the ball, the Broncos are giving them plenty of room to move about whenever the Broncos have the ball. Two to three Saints are all over it. Saints coming in and shoot and score. Just like that, it is four to one. And the Saints are really on a roll now with three unanswered goals. All three coming in the span of just a matter of moments. 21-16 to go here in the contest. And again, when you give players a lot of room like the Broncos have been doing, they will start to take advantage. And the Broncos will kick the ball in 21-10 to go here in the second half. 
as again the Saints with another opportunity coming down that far sideline. Centering pass has been denied three times by the Broncos. Here's another centering pass. Shot, and that one's going to go out toward the right of the goal. So again, a ton of pressure on the goal by the Saints. Broncos' effort goes out of bounds. Broncos will resume possession. 20 minutes, 30 seconds to go as we inch closer to that 20-minute water break. Definitely a timeout the Broncos are definitely going to want as they are going to want to regroup during that timeout. After the three unanswered goals in just a matter of moments. Broncos trying to make something happen. It is De Silva, the Broncos' leading scorer. Trying to get through two defenders to no avail. Saints now driving right back down. Arid passes. The Broncos do take possession back. Nineteen forty-five to go here in the second half, and that will be called for the 20 minute water break. So we will go ahead, we will take a break. 1941 to go in the ball game. The All Saints Academy Saints four, Davenport Broncos one. We'll be right back. As we come out of the water break, timeout. Saints leading this one by a score of 4-1. to 1941 to go in the ball game. Just up until a few minutes ago, this game was tied at one apiece, and the Saints have exploded for three unanswered goals in the span of under five minutes. As both teams have taken the field. Broncos will look to throw it in on the near sideline. Thrown in toward the near corner and again taken away by the Saints. So it seems like as this game has gone on, the Saints defense have gotten stronger and stronger and stronger. 
We said as we went into halftime with how fluent this defense has been. The Broncos are going to have to put a ton of pressure on the Saints to see if they can make the Saints tired in any way with how much pressure they have put on the Broncos. But it seems like the more pressure that is going, the Saints are answering the call and then some. So the Broncos will throw in from the near sideline. Kicking it back and out of bounds, and the Saints will now take advantage of an opportunity. As another arid pass goes awry. Throw in from the near sideline, centering pass. Broncos try to take away Saints still with possession. Saints doing some incredible work. Brown there blocking that ball away. Saints to throw it in. Under 18 to go. Broncos tried to clear it and they do. Broncos now trying to take advantage of a one-on-one -on -one situation. And we're going to have a whistle on the play. 17.40 to go. Broncos trailing the Saints by a score of 4-1. to one. Broncos will get the ball. <laughs> Kick goes up, and that's going to go toward the right of the net and will go out of bounds. 17 minutes to go here in this ball game. Again, first of four broadcasts here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network this week. Please make sure you join us here tomorrow night as the girls' varsity soccer team takes on Horizon. Kickoff for that game will be at 6 p.m. The Saints once again driving right downfield. Saints having numbers, three on one advantage, and that kick is going to be skied out of bounds. So again, the Saints having numbers as they went driving down that field. Saints are cooking on all cylinders. 16 and change to go here in the ball game. Saints will get it on a corner kick on the near sideline. Corner kick is up, ball is loose, and that could have been an opportunity as a few Saints players had that ball go right by them. Hand out of bounds, break for the Broncos. As Broncos will kick the ball in. Again, going toward that far sideline. Again, when you try to dribble through two Saints, it's not going to work as the Saints once again come away with the ball. Again, driving down. Centering pass is kicked away by the Broncos. Second opportunity, and that's going to go over the net. So again, the Broncos once again face pressure and able to deny the Saints that opportunity. Fourteen thirty to go now in the game. Broncos kicking it toward the near sideline. 
and will go out of bounds. Saints wasting no time throwing that ball in. Trying to make sure they keep any and all momentum that they have going. Goes out of bounds. That will become a Broncos ball. Broncos with a heavy throwing taken away by the Saints. Broncos take the centering pass and they begin to make their way upfield, now crossing midfield. Broncos trying to make magic down that far sideline. And there will be a whistle on that play. Delayed whistle as we approach the 13-minute mark. All Saints Academy Saints leading this one by a score of 4-1. to one. And again, another opportunity taken away by the Broncos. Having to go a long way there to make sure that that ball did not go toward the net. Saints throw the ball in. Coming down that far sideline. Ball is deflected and that will go out of bounds. 12.20 to go here in the ball game. Corner kick is down from the far sideline. Corner kick is up. Ball is still loose in front of the net. Broncos will come away with it, starting to drive down the field, coming down the near sideline. Again, Broncos do not have numbers as men go to the ground. Vega trying to advance that ball for the Broncos. Vega will go ahead. He will kick it in. Coming down to that near sideline as the ball gets kicked out of bounds. As the field temperature drops down to 62 degrees, wind has died down compared to the beginning of this half. Broncos trying to come away. That's Franco with the ball. Franco quickly pass it off. He goes out of bounds down that far sideline. Saints again wasting no time throwing that ball in and applying all of this pressure on the Broncos. Quick, quick on that, kick on that far sideline. Centering pass is denied by the Broncos. The Broncos beginning to make their way up the field. Now coming down to that near sideline as that ball goes out of bounds. Ten minutes and change to go here in the ball game. Saints leading this one by a score of four to one. Broncos throw it in on that far sideline, quickly taken away by the Saints. 
Saints driving again toward that goal. It's a three-on-three -three situation. Taken away by the Broncos. And again, the Saints continuing to apply all of that pressure as they continue to strike toward the net. Centering pass is going to be denied by the Broncos. As Broncos begin to make their way upfield. Coming down to that far sideline, looking to set something up. Pass toward the middle of the field. Going to pass it down, and there will be a whistle on the play. 8.20 to go here in the game. as the ball gets reset as we go under eight minutes to play. As the Saints kick that ball in, a nice booming kick. And a whistle on the back end, 7.30 to go here in the ball game. Broncos trailing by three. Broncos trying to make their way up the near sideline now, pass toward the middle of the field. And again, as quickly as the Broncos get it up, well, they get the ball back, trying to storm down. Saints do have a player down on the field. Saints are gaining possession, and that will draw the whistle. Seven minutes to go. So we will pause for a moment with the injury timeout. We will be right back here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. As we come back in, 6.35 to go here in the game. The injured Saints player was able to leave the field on his own power, which is exactly what you want to see. Saints now driving down, making their way toward midfield. Broncos trying to attack, looking to try to get back into this down by three. Booming kick intercepted by the Broncos down that near sideline. Broncos trying everything to get through this wall of Saints players. This ball gets thrown in by the Broncos on that far sideline. Quickly knocked right back out of bounds. Five minutes, 40 seconds to go here in the ball game. Broncos throwing it on that near sideline. And again, instantly greeted by Saints players. There's an opportunity for the Broncos, and the whistle is blown. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Goalie for the Saints comes sliding out for the ball. And 
And the Saints will take possession under five to go. Another great defensive move by the Saints keeper. Saints try to make their way up the near sideline. Quick back and forth. Regain possession, booming it down that near sideline. And is kicked out of bounds by the Saints. Broncos are getting the ball near midfield as we approach four minutes to go. Broncos trailing by three. Broncos now coming down that far sideline. Again, anytime that ball moves, the wall of players by the Saints moving with it. Quick center pass, Broncos with an opportunity and over on that shot is gonna go up and over the net. So the Broncos with their best opportunity to date, just overrunning the ball before he was able to kick it. As we approach the three minute mark, Broncos trailing the Saints by a score of four to one. As Saints kick the ball and taken away by the Broncos. Broncos now applying that pressure as that ball sails out of bounds down the near sideline. Broncos will get possession back. Broncos looking to continue to strike. We've seen it with the Saints. The more the Saints struck, they finally struck gold by getting those goals. The Broncos looking to do the same as that ball goes out of bounds. Intended for De Silva, Saints will get the ball back. As we approach the two minute mark. That ball goes out, will still remain Saints ball. The Saints prepare to throw the ball in on the near sideline. And a quick whistle. Broncos will throw it in. Trying to take advantage down that near sideline. Trying to take the Saints off guard. Not to be. As it goes out, Saints getting it back in. Quick exchanges, Saints come up with it. Pass intended for the Saints going out of bounds. Broncos will take it. Under a minute until we head to stoppage time here in the second half. Broncos trying to take it downfield, but again, the Broncos kicking it in the direction of a player. In this case, it was Vega, and there were three Saints all around him. As the Saints begin to drive the ball down the field. Now coming down the far sideline. Broncos trying to take it, but Saints regain possession. 
And that is going to be the whistle for the ball game. Your final score, the All Saints Academy Saints, the Davenport Broncos won. Again, your upcoming broadcast tomorrow night, the Varsity Girls soccer team will host Verizon, Horizon rather, at 6 p.m. On Thursday, girls basketball will host Arbindale. Friday, girls basketball will host Lake Wales. The executive producers for the Broncos Broadcasting Network, myself, John Shigaris, James Rose, Mel Gables, and Alan Duje. For all of us here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network, we thank you for joining us tonight. We will see you here tomorrow night. Kickoff at 6 p.m. for the Varsity Girls Soccer against Horizon. From Davenport, everyone, good night.